Heights den here. Um, we're up in the Flinders Ranges on a very windy night doing some astrophotography with the new, with the new uh, Olympus AM1 Mark III. And I wanted to show you something quite interesting. One of the challenges uh, with astrophotography is that it tends to happen when the sun's gone uh, and quite dark. So a lot of my photography is done under a full moon where the landscape is illuminated. But of course, when you're doing astro, uh, unless you're near a city, the foreground or the scene is quite illuminated. Now, uh, we're in the Australian outback and there is zero light pollution. It is going to be pitch black here in a couple of hours. Now, I heard a rumor once that there are some astrophotographers who composite the foreground into their astro scenes. Now, I'm not good enough in Photoshop to be able to do that. So uh, I'm going to use some uh, light painting or some lighting uh, to illuminate the foreground. And I want to show you the technique that I'm using. And I used it last night to great effect. So what I have here on a light stand uh, is a Claris torch. Um, it's reasonably bright. It's about 1100 lumens. Uh, and it's got here a diffuser on the front. And what I'm going to do is on this light stand, I'm going to stick it up really high. I turn it on and it will illuminate our scene. Now the reason I'm putting it up nice and high is so that we get nice and shadows and shape and we can position the torch around our scene in order to give shape to the scene. You never want to light a scene from directly in front of it uh, with a torch because it's flat. So by getting the light off to the side nice and high, it's going to give us some nice shape and texture. Now here's a really interesting thing. You don't need a really bright torch. Now this torch is 1100 lumens. But what I've been, what I've been finding uh, these last couple of nights is that I actually put it onto its lowest setting, which is probably in all reality about 100 lumens. It's up quite high at about five meters. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful way to light the foreground in the scene. Um, then you don't have to worry about photoshopping or compositing. Uh, later on, we're going to be down at a ruin and I'll be doing the same thing, putting lights all around the ruin. Um, we're also going to be lighting up a big gum tree a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, so I'm a light painter uh, and I like to get everything in, in, uh, in a single shot. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be using this, which is our Claris torch. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, look at that. These diffusers are great, by the way. Absolutely wonderful uh, way to, to distribute the light in a nice, even way. So anyway, let's get into it. We've got about an hour till the sun goes down. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's hope this wind dies down a little bit uh, and we'll have a great night. Thank you. 